What's going on YouTube? It's Bino with another video. The Caprice. A little update. Uh, the trim's all back on. The grill, bumpers, all that. But this is all... This, uh... It's still the same way since my last video. The paint job is still the same way. All I did was, uh, buff a couple of spots. Uh... I didn't wet sand anything. I just straight buffed the hood, the fenders. And it came out. It bring the shine out just a little bit more. Because, uh... I was driving around about two months, no protection on it, no wax, just washing it. It was just dish soap. But yeah, still looking good. Got the uh, trim, wheel trim, rocker panels, door handles, all that. But she's looking good enough to to be seen in. So that's how it is. Buff the trunk. I hadn't done. The, the back doors and the back uh, quarter panels yet, but it'll get done eventually by buffing it. I have no idea when I'm gonna start working back on the car, but uh, it's still a work in progress. It's still still ain't finished, so it's just a uh, more of a long pause for right now. But eventually, you know, I'm gonna put more coats on and get that final buff and make it look look real damn nice but for right now it's it looks pretty damn good just for a roll on paint job people usually usually don't know if it's a roll on paint job till I tell them but you know it's good enough for me but uh yeah that's it let me uh let me show y'all I'll get the back seats in and all that y'all probably don't want to see it but get the seats in back seats got half the door panels in I ain't got this little armrest thing in yet I gotta clean up the windows get some paint stripper and some metal spirits will come right out uh, over spray from the prime uh, there's the engine looking good dirty but I, I don't know if I showed y'all I repainted these they're all dirty because dirt gets through the through right there and hits and I live on you know dirt road but yeah there's a uh, hand uh, hand brush with rust on them uh, black gloss black and it's still a rusty primer up here I ain't got to that so but it still looks all right it don't look out of place with the brown so I mean at least it's protected with the rusty metal primer. So, get a little shit right there. We got some water spots, but that's because it just rained last night. But uh, once you wash it down, give it a good, uh, give it a good cleaning. You, the water spots should go away. You just scrub them out. But uh, yes, let's see. Right here. I just sold my uh, my system yesterday, so that's what we're working with. No more, no more uh, bumping my music. It's all. Oh, that's just old. Got my jack and my tire. And I threw that back there just to give a little bit of base, but everything ain't working. I might just take that out. But, uh, it's a little home stereo subwoof. I <clears throat> just hooked it up straight to the head unit just to give it some kind of base. But, for right now, I'm not going not gonna to worry too much about base. I'm going to just, uh, later on, I'll probably put a 10. Or something like right up in here to save some room. Cause me with the big old box right there, it's just. I mean, it sounded good, but it just didn't fit right with the car. In my, for my, in my opinion, but it's gone. Sold the whole amp and the box, Memphis subs and all that. Porter box, but that's how it is right now. I do plan on trying to get some new tires, but I may try 
redoing my front end. Uh, try to do everything myself because I I don't I don't feel comfortable paying a whole lot of money at the ass just for shit that I could do. But uh, still debating on that because if I get new tires and put them on here with the front end being like it is, see I really don't know the severity of the front end. But see, I might be defeating the purpose of getting new tires and they get worn out. But uh, I'm gonna see about a ball joint. Removal tool. I already got a pickle fork to bust uh, bust it from the uh, spindle. And uh, the only other thing I can think of is uh, probably take the control on, like take them off the car and take them to the shop and get them pressed in and pressed out. <clears throat> so that's about the only thing I let shop do because, you know, I ain't got to press or nothing. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to price some parts and all that so I might be able to get you know at least two new different tires these damn tires in the back are huge as hell but uh yeah I'm gonna figure everything out in the next couple days that's one reason why I, had to sell, why I sold my system just to get a little extra money in my pocket to get the car going right cause right now when it rains the car the hand the uh steering wheel Shakes a lot about those me off the road when I'm when it's raining. So that could be either the tires, ball joints. I don't know, all this got to be done up front, so I'll figure that out. But I should be able to save myself enough money just getting it done to at least get a new set of front tires. That way I move these. These are on the back. Cause I'm these right here two fifty five seventies. I put them on the back and probably get some two thirty five seventies to put them on the front. And later on, you know, get the get the back for a 235, get it all even. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna look into that in the next couple of days. But yeah, that's it. Give y'all profile view of it. Back here. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Rolled on paint job. If you loan on money, I say go ahead and do it. If you don't like it, you can always, well, I don't know if you can paint over this, but I heard a couple days down the road you can spray it, but uh, don't hold me to that, so I don't know. But shit, I mean, it looks pretty damn nice if you, if you ask me. All right, y'all, take it easy.